Greetings ladies and gentlemen, CCX here, and welcome to a brand new JRPG Let's Play. And yes, it is on the PlayStation. Hush. I know you guys are probably sick and tired of me playing PlayStation games. Or actually playing old games in general, I haven't even played anything new. But eh, what are you gonna do? It's time for another wonderful JRPG. You know what that means? Meaning this thing is gonna be the focus of... Not really the huge focus. There will be something else being on the back burner. But anyways, it's another Squaresoft game before they became Square Enix. So, just enjoy the opening, guys. Say hello to the sequel of Chrono Trigger, Chrono Cross, ladies and gents. Love how it's still square, even though it clearly so square soft. But you know what? Whatever. I'm not going to go ahead and let that continue because it actually does pro play a prologue. Now, Chrono Cross is essentially... It changes a lot. It's nothing like its predecessor, I'll tell you that much. Well, the bigger difference is that you notice that the menu is slightly different. And now we start out this game with a flashback. Yeah, I kid you not. The first cutscene that you get is literally a flashback. It's kind of awesome. Well, yeah. That's, uh, people are probably, like, wondering, like, how in the world, why, why does the game start out in a flashback cutscene? Yeah, I'm also end up, like, spoiling this thing now. You guys are probably wondering, why am I spoiling this section? Because you want to know why? This is not the beginning of the game. You can even tell it's not the beginning of the game, because goddamn, this is one very triumphant demo. Exactly what it is. is exactly what it is. Essentially a demo. Let's begin. What is this, Serge? You look trouble. This is it. There's no turning back now. Oi, come on, Serge, Van. Just you wait, Lynx. Today is going to be the day of reckoning. Say your prayers. Not that it'll do you any good. <laughs> ah, she's crazy. Serge. Yes. All right. Now. You guys are probably wondering, what makes this game completely different from its predecessor? Well, the combat is completely different. 
and the elements are other known as colors in this game as you notice that you can see innate which you see white gr red and green white red and green essentially means light magic red um, fire magic and earth magic it's not really what you call it magic but i'll go into more detail with that later well as of right now well they still end up harnessing the wonderful quote-unquote encounters being on screen and it's a lot more deadlier when you actually get it get it like a flashing light let's get into the battle mechanics of chrono cross now you have your defense, which you really couldn't do in the old game. You also have your runaway, which is by far pathetically easy. You can run away from every single battle. And you also notice that the field effect on the top left corner. That is essentially important, but not yet. It will be important later. You notice that you see STA. That is your stamina meter. You notice that these guys have an innate of... Actually, wait, I'm sorry. I forgot that yellow is essentially earth and green is essentially, I'm guessing, wood. Now, you have the ability of hitting in three different combos. The lower the combo, the higher the hit rate. You can actually see the hit rate here. Sometimes you can go in and hit through three. Sometimes you'll miss, sometimes you won't. When you do initiate a hit, though, your element bar will go up by the depending on the hit combo that you do. As you can see here, we got our, ascent, our our wonderful moves here. So, we'll use Photon Beam and see where that goes. Yes, your stamina meter is essentially what you're going to be trying to focus, because if your stamina meter runs out, you won't be able to attack anymore. So, let's just say this. We do one, two, one. Be careful because if you use three, if you notice that it's yellow there, you'll run out of stamina. So you want to do is you want to kind of try to want to juggle your combos together and try to be able to um, execute an ending hit. Sometimes, though, if you do go overboard with your combos, however. Oh, by the way, the victory theme, we actually have one this time. Unlike in the other game, which we the victory theme is essentially the party get theme. Now, the victory um, option is actually relatively interesting as well. So, yeah, there's a there's not a lot to really take in, in this game. I would say this now. It's very, very relatively easy to get into once you actually start um, going deep into the game. This, um, this section here is just an introduction um, area, which ends up teaching you, well, quote-unquote teaching, because it actually doesn't really teach you much. But you can get the feel of the game as of right now. My god, I really am good at actually explaining some of this crap. Alright, so I guess I should say. Now, this one is darkness. Even though the game calls it black. Now, see, the thing is, is that I'm not going to even call it by their colors. I'm actually going to call it by their respective um, elements. Now, Dash and Slash is unique to Surge, who is the character that we're playing as. When you use these, these moves are only corresponding to every, every single character has a special tech move. You know, like essentially like Cyclone, Spin Cut Slash, what have you. You know, those moves like in Chrono Trigger. Sometimes, however, you will miss and sometimes the enemy will end up having themselves get another, um, get an attack out if they're faster than you. Sadly, however, there is no, um, there's no real way of knowing that. So, oh no, I'm sorry. Green is wind. I'm sorry. That's what this element is. I don't know why I thought it was, um, grass. Why I thought it was grass? Eh, I don't know. Also, this intro cutscene, you will always end up getting, like, a different character. The only two characters that you always have is Surge and Kid. You will always have those two. But the third character will always be different. I'm not entirely... There's really... Oh, crap. I... Stupid. I completely nullified the crap out of that. Um, What you saw there, very quickly, mind you, was the bonuses. If you don't use any of your healing moves during battle, you can essentially end up executing... You know, abilities that can be able to heal your party members. There is no magic tech points in this game anymore. So, those are out of the water. All you have is just your HP. 
there is something else that's specific to this game called star points which you essentially get if you manage to go ahead and um do certain cri criterias i'm trying to figure out what game essentially does that when if you defeat certain things you get certain abilities you get it like an upgrade i mean i guess no zelda is way too easy for that hmm so what you're supposed to do here, you're actually supposed to deactivate that ore because when you actually deactivate that, you can be able to um, activate the elevator. So yeah, as you can see now, the elevator is completely active. Sometimes the enemies do get despawned though. Sometimes, but my goodness, they can actually really get, they can really get up to you very quickly. And you can see the very massive difference in this game and the music itself is, I would have to say, I do like Chrono Cross's soundtrack. I do like it. Is it better than Chrono Trigger? I... Eh, you guys might have to be the judge on that one because it, th this soundtrack is very... Eh. Oi, what the bloody hell just happened? Yeah, she's... By the way, she speaks like that. What are we doing out here? Well, it's the elevator, kid. What's wrong with you? Wow, bugger. We're so high up, it's... uh. Mm. Uh, did it feel like your body passed through the floor just now? Huh, is that what it feels like? This sure is some fort. Hey, Serge. Ooh, we actually talk in this game. You all right, mate? You've been acting all weird. Who knows what's up ahead, so just stay out of your toes. Sure. My toes. And since we're on a PS1 game... You know we gotta have those wonderful CGI cutscenes. You guys thought Kingdom Hearts was foreshadowing. My no, bruh. Chrono Cross been foreshadowing since the day of dawn. Welcome to the Chrono Cross, bitches. Good morning, Serge. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Serge, Chrono, and they're both pretty stupid to be honest. But I kind of like Chrono before. I prefer Chrono more than Serge. Serge kind of sounds like a dumb name. But now we get the wonderful typical R JRPG trope of us just waking up. Some tr some RPGs actually don't wake you up, which is probably the worst RPG ever. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. It'd be kind of really dumb and sad if it is. Sadly, though, just like in Chrono um, Trigger, there are also multiple endings. Um, the ending I will be trying to go for, well, I will be going for no matter what, will be the normal ending. Hello. Good morning, Serge. You're finally up. The sun's already reached high noon. By the way, didn't you have plans to meet Lena this morning? Yeah, Lena, wasn't that the it wasn't that the name after the bell in Chrono Trigger? Ooh, continuity! And look, they also have cats in this too. My god. But anyways, you can actually go over here in this section to go ahead and learn how to actually, you know, battle properly. But I already told you how to actually fight in this game, so that's kind of pointless and not really necessary. Well, of course, you can actually talk to a bunch of people. They actually give you um, some very wonderful hints. It's, it's kind of nice. This is over there on the pier. It looks like her mother actually had a babysit. Luckily enough, just like in Chrono Trigger, you can also move depending on the dialogue. If the dialogue is not important, you can be able to continuously move. If the dialogue is important, however, you'll be stuck in a uh, perpetual limbo and then you'll have to be forced. Yippee! And then he died. Nah, I'm kidding. You're late, sir. Sleeping in as usual, I suppose. You promised you'd go get some Komodo, Komodo dragon scales for my necklace, remember? Since you were late, my mom asked me to babysit the kids. Ooh, Sergi, Lena, Sergi. All right. Come on, you guys should join us. Feels really good. Unlike the rest of you, we're not here to play. Don't swim out too far now. Okay, gotcha. 
Ah, uh, yes. You can actually change the text box just like in Chrono Trigger as well, so don't worry. Kids sure have it easy. Remember when we were like that? Not a single care or worry on our mind. Ah, good to be the young age where we don't have to worry about nothing. But the important thing now is not our childhood, but my Kimoto scale necklace. Yes, we have to face up to reality and live each day anew. What kind of, what? So I want you to go into Lizard Rock and get some scales for me. I would join you, but I still have to watch the kids. It's your fault you were late. Once you collect some Komodo scales, I'll catch up with the Obe Obasa, Opasa Beach. Opasa. Sure, whatever. I got no choice anyways. Good, that's why I wanted to hear. Okay then, don't just stand there. Go collect some lizard. You want me to go beat the crap? Oh, whatever. I think three should be enough. Good luck, Serge. I'm counting on you. Yeah, cause I'm not the only one who can actually do it. I do like his bandana, though. And that guy is... Is that a guy or a woman? No, that's a guy. Oh, it's you, sir. It's a beautiful day, huh? You caught me dozing off there. By the way, Serge, do you like the sea? Sure do. Oh, really? Yeah, the sea sure is great. But just remember, sir, don't take the sea so lightly. Usually, you'll find sea in the vast deep, full of strength and energy. And kind and gentle. But once it becomes angry, it can turn into the most frightening monster. Close your eyes and prick up your ears. Can you hear the cries of the countless men swallowed by the sea? The hidden secrets of the sea's whispers. I recommend you learn the sense of the mood of the sea. That's if you don't want to join the fellows that are already at the bottom. Ha 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 ha! Humor is funny when you talk about dead guys. Really? <laughs> Alright. I guess I should go into play. As you can see there, our stats, our strength, resistance, accuracy, agility, magic, resistant, and our innate is light. Like I said before, I ain't gonna call it white, because that sounds weird to me. And you also notice that we are also kind of like missing half of our other abilities. Yeah, that's because that was, like I said, that was a tutorial, so it kind of sucks. Here is where you'll actually be implementing your elements. The game, you can actually make it recommended, and sometimes the recommendation is good, but sometimes it's not. Got your equipment here, we got the sea swallow, swallow, we got ivory mail, and three accessory slots. Accessories are a little bit important in this game. Oh, that's what happened. We got our items. I will say this, items don't exist in this game. Items are regulated to key items now. And we got the customization, which is self-explanatory. You can actually pick custom. You got you got the iron wood. Got the simple line, which is probably a reference to Chrono Trigger. Actually, no, it's not. I think this is a reference to Chrono Trigger. Iron plate. And that's pretty much it. I'm actually going to keep it in the same exact format as, per, as usual because reasons. I'm also going to change this to walk so I can actually just run automatically because in all honesty, since there's no random encounters, I don't really have much to really worry about the whole running aspect. Because to be honest, I love it when a game actually gives me the option to just automatically run. Hey look, it's a Komodo dragon. It's my Celine, Celine cute. Daddy found her by Lizard Rock. A lot of baby Komodo dragons play out there. I guess it's kind of like their hangouts. And you know what, Serge? Sergi? Why did they call me Sergi? I could have sworn my name is Serge. Lola said he was going to let me some Komodo scales. I don't know. Maybe you stop squeeing like a doll or something because you sound very, very excited about that. I don't know why you're excited. Anyways, let's get out of here. I got like no money. I got 100G. You know, at least the mom in that one actually gave me some money. So what you're going to do, you're actually going to be heading to Lizard Rock. But I'm going to be saving that for the next episode. So ladies and gentlemen, as usual, JRPGs is one of my fortes. Well, one of, and the other forte is me fumbling around like a moron. I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode when we go ahead and get some Komodo scales for Lita. CCX, over and out.